reckon it would be great to have a section where you guys test out a ton of mice and keyboards and come up with the winners for different categories, e.g. for surfing, office work, games, etc. It would also be cool to know all the pros and cons of each one. Dave. I put keyboards and mice right up there with monitors in terms of things that can Im impact your experience, when you're, especially if you're working or gaming all day long. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're ready to do a yeah. weekly mouse or keyboard review unless we hear a serious cry out there from the Texilla crew. Um, how about we share what we use ourselves and why, Dave, and folks that want us to review other products can email us. Um, for mice, personally, I use the Logitech G5 mouse. It's not too fancy, but it has a few programmable buttons on there, and it's very comfortable for extended use periods. See, you, you've actually gamed for 18 out of 24 hours plus. That's not necessarily true. It's been a while since I've gone for that long. What, like three weeks? Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't played WoW in like two months. Okay. I've been playing more consoles lately, actually. It's kind of weird. But you have used that mouse for like 12 hours I've used it for, for a long time. Long, long stretch time. of time, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I, I use right-handed -hand mouse primarily. It's a right-handed mouse, and it's pretty comfortable, pretty lightweight. It's got a decent laser on it, and so it's, it's it stood the test of time. Yeah, it's, it's weighted, oh, but really? I don't know if it's adjustable. Okay. I think it's just. It is what it is. Okay. Um, as for my keyboard, I use the Ideas on Merc ZXP1000, which was actually sent to me by a Texilla viewer out there who knew I needed a gaming keyboard. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. That you was remember a while that? Ago. That was a long time ago. We've been doing this for a while. That was over a year ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I needed a gaming keyboard. I was complaining about playing WoW on my <laughs> on my regular Apple keyboard. So someone anonymously sent me that, uh, that Merc, and I've been nice. using it ever since. I love it. Um, the Zboard software lets you program the buttons for various games um, out there. They have a pretty big library of, of specific gaming layouts for different titles. But when you just like glow in the dark keys, it'll pop up and tell you what the it's does. The other version of the keyboard has has backlit keys. Oh, really? This one, I don't remember. I don't think this one does. Okay. No, I, I, it doesn't have backlit keys. Um, I use this mouse and keyboard for everything, including for when my MacBook Pro is docked to my desk. I've had the same configuration for a couple of years now, though. I'm about to test out the new lefty mouse from Razer, the Death Adder. <laughs> the Death Adder. It sounds pretty badass, but I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Razer's names for their mice are getting the weirder Death and weirder. Have you seen the one they have that has like 17 buttons? Yeah. I, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, I just can't handle that much. I don't know. I have to try left-handed. It feels weird to me because I've been doing right-handed for the for my entire life for mice. Really? Yeah. You've never like switched the right-handed mouse to your nope. left hand. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Nope. Mm. Be a good week to frag Veronica when she pops that thing out of the box. <laughs> uh, look, I I use the basic Microsoft optical mouse, which is literally the Microsoft basic optical mouse or the Comfort optical mouse. Both have a scroll wheel. They work lefty or righty. And the left and right buttons is pretty much all I use regularly, including and the scroll wheel. 15 bucks, just about everywhere. The $20 uh, comfort version has four-way scroll, like it has a couple more buttons that are programmable. I just keep coming back to these no matter what I try. If you want wireless, you do a wireless one for 30 bucks. It uses its own dongle that connects your USB port, so you don't have to use Bluetooth, which because sometimes Bluetooth sucks. For gaming, I find most of Microsoft Sidewinder mice super uncomfortable. It's like somebody went, you know, the X-Wing, the TIE Fighter, those are really cool designs. Let's put all those angles into a mouse, and then they forgot to actually test it before they started making them. It's just too many edges to hold on to. Uh, a bunch of folks in know swear by Razer's gaming mice, something like the <clears throat> Death Adder. Death Adder. Feels a lot better in my hand compared to the Microsoft Sidewinder mice. I think you mean your hand. It's a lefty mouse. I thought they had left and right versions of it. I think it's only a left. The Death Adder is only lefty. We'll it's take their this first. Offline. Their first, first lefty, lefty mouse. Yeah. Okay. Well, they have a, a the similar. They've basically. got. I'm sure they've got similar. Well, look, designs. it's probably like the Puff Adder or the Cobra Shriek or. <laughs> the Cobra Shriek. <laughs> well, you know, Death Adder. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, the, for keyboards, I still think IBM Model M buckling spring or Alp switch based keyboards are the bomb. A very loud bomb, by the way. They can wake a sleeping spouse at the other end of the house when you're typing 70 words per minute on deadline, but they feel great when you're doing it. PCKeyboard.com sells them for 69 bucks as the Customizer 101 or the Space Saver 104 slash 105. If you want a prettier keyboard, check out Matthias. Tactile Pro it uses Alps mechanical switches, has sculpted key tops with laser etched symbols that you'll never wear out, a built in three port USB hub, and has already sold out of the second production run of $150. This is like $150 keyboards. They started selling them in January. They've gone through two production runs already. You can pre order one from the next run that's coming up right now at Matthias.ca slash Tactile Pro. Three, I think. That's a really nice, basically, that's the super cool version 
of the $70 mm. Alp Switch mechanical switch, mechanical buckling spring-based keyboard. Mm.